Hey dear friends, welcome back again. We are so happy you popped over again to see what we are up to today. Of course, for everyone who is new here, welcome. We are Yanni and Diane and we hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, of course, we hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone who is here and is not subscribed to our channel, we hope you will click the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and tick the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. Like we always say, enough talking, let's jump in today's inspiration. Diane here with a new DIY again. I took out the Jenga blocks or the tumbling shower blocks from my stash. These are the ones that Jenny and I use. These packages, they come online from some sort of, yeah, family festive article shop. And they cost three euros for each package and then you get 45 pieces. This is how big they are. They are five centimeters by two centimeters. And today I want to make a letter with you with a combination of a planter. And therefore we start off with of course blocks and I also have wood glue here at the ready let's see if the nozzle is free sometimes it's stuck no still see a hole so we can use it and uh, yeah let's see I'll start off with the base layer therefore let me see how to first take out these we do want to have one extra I want to make a square. And then we need one of these again. I think now it is a square. Two of these. We have the oops, the same length as two of these, which they have. So I want to make another base. Six each, so twenty-four at the bottom. We're going to glue these together. I like to glue this way, just leave these here, turn these over, and then I can instantly glue these small sides here. I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe this is a better idea. Uh, leave these flat, turn, turn, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Grab your glue and start gluing right away doesn't need to be that much. I think this is enough. You will notice when it's not enough, then sure, when you move a little bit around, you see that these parts let go of each other. Yeah, I had to turn them around because while I hold them and glue them, that works a little bit better than without because my crafting mat is pretty smooth. So they move around everywhere, just like so. And then you can easily start carefully pushing these down onto each other. Doesn't mind that it isn't completely straight. We'll get back to that in a couple of seconds. There we are. Oops. There we are. Now move over to these here. Not yet. Last one from this row, and the last row for the base. There we are. Okay, now you grab two blocks again. And I like to do this, push, push, and then push here to outline everything and make it smooth and straight. Push here. And then from these sides and push here and then from those sides. Now here and there you might see some glue peeping through. Grab yourself a piece of cloth or a piece of paper tissue and you can just wipe that away. Let that dry for about five minutes. I think that's more than enough for today because it's pretty warm here. And then we're going to glue these and these and put everything together. Then we have our bases. Base parts are done. I want to make the side parts for the planter, and therefore we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts of two blocks. 
y and 3 high. So this will be one part. I'm going to do that a times to just start them up there. That's the idea. That will be a lot of gluing, but we'll skip that very quickly and you can see what we'll do next. are dry. These are almost dry, these upsetting things, but I think they're ready to start to be glued. What I want to do is just add some glue here on this side. After this they have to dry a little bit longer than I did for now. Glue on this side, actually glue on every side. And the last one here. Now we need to be quick. Let's grab two of these, put them in there, and two of these to put them in here. Make sure that you outline the blocks. That will look a lot neater. So you can see where all the lines are. Hopefully move this aside. And of course it starts tumbling over. Okay, now this is cool. If you want to, you can leave it this way, or maybe you want to have an extra block like this, or like that. That is totally up to you. I think I'll just leave it this way. We'll do the other one the same way. Glue all around the edges, if the glue can wants to cooperate as well. Here, here, and the last one over there. Now, really need to be quick before the glue starts dripping down, because then you might glue your whole thing to your table or crafting mat. Okay, I think this is it for now. Just leave everything to dry here, and then we continue with the letter. These are dry. Let's put them aside. And we continue with the basis of the letter. Now, I did some pre-work before because I want to glue these together. This will be one part of the letter. And I'm going to do that several more times. So these are the horizontal or the vertical parts. I also have smaller parts that will be the vertical parts. which we can place down like that. So this will be a lot of gluing. Just take your time to do so. And uh, yeah, see you soon, I guess. a lot of gluing work. I think I just start by assembling the whole letter together and therefore we're going to put these together and these as well. I'm just in doubt how I want to have them and how we're going to build this. Um, let me grab some of these because the idea is that we put this one in here. Is this a little bit? Yeah, this is too low, I think. Yeah, somewhere here, maybe. But okay. Mm, yeah, I think that we need one extra of these. So we need four of these which are going to be here then. You can also just turn it around. 
no, no, that's not beautiful. I want to have it like this. So first, let's glue these together. Come on, glue. Here. This goes here. And there. Yes. Now let's keep this one apart because this one still has to dry. But we know that it's going to be on the top section. Just like so. I have a little bit of paper here just to wipe away that glue that we don't want to see because I always use too much glue. Okay, one big last press. There we are. These are okay. And now it is gluing time. I think I'm just going to do it like this. Use glue on these sides here. That will be a lot of glue. Because the tension on this or the, the weight on this will be a lot heavier. Now, if you really want to divide everything, just gently wipe and spread it out like you're adding butter to your bread. <laughs> I don't always make com comparisons with food. Now, and then we do it like this. And then we're going to press it together really well. So, wipe here and there, okay, um, and check where they need to come, that will be here, oh, I think we just leave this one in here too, that would be a good idea. Uh, I need something big and flat. Oh, why not the back here? Because I want to outline to see that they are in the same on the same level before we start applying everything. Just align. Okay, now I think aligning on the top helps to see if these lines are in the center which they are, then we can move them a little bit back again. And the last one here. Okay, now carefully um, take out these ones, I think. We're doing the, those ones for the last. Why? Then I know that everything is still laying down straight. Now grab some glue, put it on both sides, spread, and spread some more. Yeah, these sides need a little bit of extra glue. I thought just rubbing them against each other would result in having enough glue in both of the uh, parts, but I don't think so. Oops. And here too. Yeah. I think we're good to go now. Uh, how did I have them here, like this? Carefully let them just sink in here. Oops, that was the wrong way. So I'm going to check if everything is aligned. I think so. Yeah, this is a hard part, and I'm aware of that. Okay, now these ones be quick before the glue dries. Yeah, you don't have to be super quick like with a glue gun. And here too. Take this one out and apply some more glue. Okay. Going to rub just to spread out the glue on every corner and then going to place this one back in carefully. 
I'm trying to avoid putting glue upon parts where that doesn't belong, but I'm not so good at that, I think. Well, let's check. We're almost good to let everything go. Yep. Now let's wipe the glue away. And make sure that every part here has been pressed and then just leaving everything to dry. Our letter, purple seed brush, and here a part of the paint can. Here is the paint can, because I'm ready for a painting. And uh, this is how the letter turned out. Completely dry and well. So I'm going to paint, and later on I'm also going to paint these. Uh, I'm not going to paint these parts here, because what I want to do, if you didn't notice it yet, I want to glue down the letter here inside of these two, yeah, planters. This thing is really too big for the whole camera to start seeing it. Um, but for the glue to, you know, start sticking a little bit better, don't um, paint down this. dry too. I'm going to turn it upside down and I want to put on glue here and then I'm going to put everything into these two baskets here. And as you can see this stuff is pretty solid. Now for this you need quite a lot of glue to fight everything really well throughout the wood. This should do. And then it's time to glue. I outlined the baskets on the bottom part. Turn it up. And there we are. Now, if you want to, you can put a heavy object upon here. That's optional. I think this will do because this way a lot of, um, yeah, this, this is really heavy stuff. So I think everything will set in. Let this dry for at least an hour. And then you can start, you know, decorating the glue is dry. And I decorated these boxes with some of this sisal grass. And I also want to add, but I want to know if that looks cool, just a little bit of this artificial moss. I think that gives a little bit more of a, you know, a greenery touch. It's really weird stuff. It feels like rubber or something. No. I'm going to arrange this a little bit here and there. You can easily just tear it apart to define it a little bit better. One corner here, and maybe a little bit more here. And some on the other side as well. And that really looks a little bit more like a planter box. And that was what I wanted. And I also want to add some flowers maybe, or some more greenery that gives a little bit more color to the whole thing. And by the way, this stuff came from the Action. It was pretty cheap. I believe the whole box was just one euro. Okay, a little bit more here. Ah, well, just let's use any, everything. I think this is what we want. I also have a branch with these kind of flowers. I'm going to cut them off. Let's see how much shall we need. We we'll start off with the longest. 
let's see i never use flowers that are so you know high let's well yeah it, it can i don't know if you like it but you can do this now they really look like flowers coming out of a greenery box which looks fun to me or you can just lay them down loosely into the planter box that's completely up to you like so one here completely do whatever you want Well, and then we can place one in here. Really happy with the letter, but not way too happy. I'm just missing something. I have letters here, wooden letters from Action. Here you have the F. And I thought writing down farm here would be cool. I'm going to paint these letters black. Definitely we using blackboard paint. And then just use wood glue to apply them here. Or maybe a glue gun is maybe better. Now I'm saying it because the wood glue has to dry and it has to be standing up. So then the letters would start dripping down. So I think using a glue gun for these things is better. And I also just rearranged the flower pots on the bottom part a little bit. <music> final result just a letter with the word farm upon it let us know what you think really love the thick wooden letters in combination with the sheer bright letter and of course the plan boxes here on the bottom hope that you like what we made today thank you for watching